Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon and welcome to the St. Regis Hotel in New York City for the Baseball Hall of Fame and Baseball Writers Association's press conference to introduce the BBWA class of 2017. We have 2017 Baseball Hall of Fame electee Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, 2017 Baseball Hall of Fame electee Tim Raines, 2017 Baseball Hall of Fame electee Jeff Bagwell, and the president of the National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum, Jeff Idelson. When history looks back on this class, it'll be looked at as, as a group of three guys who are excellent run producers that can make things happen on the base paths uh, and with, with a hallmark for either scoring or driving in runs and that's the hallmark of these three guys. Hi everyone, uh, really excited to be here. Uh, it's kind of surreal, I, I really have no idea what I'm doing, um, but enjoying every moment of it. Jeff combined power, consistency, getting on base, and an ability to score runs to become one of baseball's premier first basemen, averaging 32 home runs annually, drove in 90 or more runs 10 times, and scored 90 or more runs. You have to be able to laugh at each other. And, you know, we make fun of each other about how much we weigh and trying to get this damn jersey on and get my jacket off and stuff like that. But it truly, truly is an honor to be here. Uh, just. Like I said, it's surreal just um, to be in this situation to, um, I mean, be in the Hall of Fame, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy, man. Um, and I couldn't be more happy to be here and uh, just trying to take this all in, so thanks. Tim Raines was rock solid playing in, in 23 seasons. Uh, again, 19,000 have played in the major leagues. Only 20 players played longer than Tim Raines. Thank you all for coming. And, uh, you know, it's been a long time. It's been a process for me. You know, this is my 10th year, uh, my last year of eligibility, and uh, the writers finally got it right. <laughs> uh, Tim spent his major league career getting on base, wreaking havoc on the base paths, and scoring a lot of runs. He was on base almost 4,000 times, stole 808 bases, and scored 1,571 runs. It took a while, better late than never. And, uh, you know, yesterday I think I was one of uh, the happiest guys in the world. And uh, it's, it's, it's really um, fitting, and uh, I'm very proud to be up here with these two guys. And then you have Pudge Rodriguez, who was a brilliant catcher, 21 impressive seasons, a 14-time All-Star, 13 Rawlings Gold Gloves for defensive excellence. And he set the major league records for games caught and put outs by a catcher and ranked first in the American League in catching would-be base stealers, other than Tim Raines probably nine times. You don't want to forget either that uh, Pudge had 296 or 311 home runs and nearly 2,900 hits. So all three of these guys individually put up Hall of Fame numbers, it's pretty evident, and now they all have a home in Cooperstown, but uh, more importantly, they're now new teammates. Having a great career, uh, great career and just, uh, uh, and being in a room, you know, wearing this jersey, at the end of uh, your career, you know, as you cannot ask anything more than that. Uh, to be in this situation, but uh, I can wait in July. I mean, when I'm when I see all these Hall of Famers behind us, and just uh, it's going to be great.